Hey guys, welcome back to the Ronald J channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about stretching. So um, stretching is what I do after almost every run. Um, my legs are usually super tight and sore after a run, so I definitely need to get a stretch session in in order to alleviate some of that tension and soreness, and I feel great immediately after. So you could use this for any sport, and a lot of these techniques, I mean, if you're a runner, you've seen before, they're nothing new. Uh, there's some yoga poses in there as well that I like to do because it really gets into you know your uh, glutes and hamstrings, and you feel great right after. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. If you haven't yet, please feel free to hit that like and subscribe button, and let's get going. So the first thing I like to do is start off putting your legs together and kind of just stretch out your quads and your hamstrings. Um, so this entire routine or stretching should take about 10 minutes to complete and you know while you're doing all these stretches you want to you know make sure you're breathing and you're, you're just resting your heart rate just you know be calm and relaxed this should be calming and uh, it might hurt a little bit but you know you'll feel great after so just relax and then just enjoy doing these stretches so once you're done with that you're gonna do a typical runner stretch where you put um, both of your legs kind of out and then you want to stretch put your hands and try to reach as far as you can to your feet um, you know breathe in and breathe out so you can you know, increase the flexible flexibility a little bit and this will you know stretch out those quads and hamstrings that big portion of your legs that does the grunt work if you do a lot of running so you just want to relax you know stretch Take a deep breath in and out and just kind of repeat. So once you're done with that, you're gonna go into typical runners stretch where you're gonna put one foot into the other kind of, and then you're gonna reach on both hands to the feet and again try to go as far as possible you're going to feel it in your quads and your hamstring and you're a little bit in your lower back as well so you know take a deep breath in and out and then relax and you know do this uh, all of these poses for 30 seconds each on both sides once you're done with that go to the other side and do the same thing You know, when I first started working out or running, you know, I hated stretching. I, you know, I thought it was a waste of time, something that, you know, like, why do I need to do this? And, you know, I, when I was lifting weights and things like that, that wasn't a big factor. But when I started running seriously, you know, um, things such as foam rolling and stretching, I quickly realized was so important in order to maintain your runner's, runner's health and just your, to make sure your legs can keep going. You know, without stretching, just think of it like a rubber band. You just your body's is so tight, and you know, need to release some of that tension. So the next stretch I like to do is kind of like a plank, high plank, where you put one foot in front of the other, and then your back foot needs to be straight. You can put both of your hands um, outside of the feet, and you know, this is a great stretch to you know stretch out your entire lower body. Um, your glutes, your hips, you know, everything in there. Then after that, you want to kind of, you know, do the opposite and lean back and curl your back leg and straighten out the leg that you had in front to do a stretch for that leg. And another thing regarding stretching is, you know, a lot of these uh, poses are similar to what you uh, see in yoga if you do yoga. And yoga is something else that you know I started doing as well. And a lot of guys, you know, might see yoga as something that's for women, but um, the trend is, you know, 
becoming where a lot of guys are doing yoga practices as well because you know it's just overall just great for the body um, and relaxes you you know it trains you on breathing and just tons of benefits that most people don't realize what yoga can do so this pose is the kind of pigeon pose where you know you've seen some yoga exercises have where you put your leg kind of under and then your opposite leg will be kind of bent uh, you no know, straight where your toes a little bent and then you want to you know just kind of sit down as much as possible it might be a little bit hard because your body's you know natural instincts will try to kind of lift up your you know the, your glutes and it's and you can also kind of lay down and put your head down to relax while you're doing that as well so next thing you want to carry over your pigeon pose and then bring the opposite leg to the outside of your the leg that you're using and you kind of just put your foot down and then bend the knees and just twist around to stretch out you know your lower back as well And then you're going to repeat this for the, in, the same thing on the opposite side as well. Going with the high plank and then going to the pigeon stretch and then the twist in the back. Now stretching you can be do at any time, um, even in the office if you work. Uh, I mean, obviously you won't be able to do this fully but you know there are so many ways you can stretch a while you're in the office you could kind of like you know for an example lean on the wall to stretch your calves um, you know you can also you know the, you should be doing this also when you're not even working out kind of like before bed you know I'm, I'm sure many of you have felt it when you after a nice long exercise the next morning your body is just completely tight and you know it's even hard to take a step in the morning so you can do some stretching um, before bed as well or even when you wake up you know in combination with foam rolling so there's no really negative aspects to stretching it'll just you know kind of loosen the tension in your body and stretching will just make you feel great overall and stretching and breathing are so important um, you know, even when you're doing your stretches, make sure you're taking deep breaths and inhaling and exhaling. Uh, if you don't breathe, your body's kind of, you know, naturally going to tense up. So you want to make sure you're getting your breaths in and everything's feeling natural. natural. And just overall, just remain calm, you know, and just kind of forget about everything that's going on and just focus on the stretch and relax your mind. So the next thing I like to do is kind of like a you lie down on your back and you do kind of side body twist stretch where you hold one of your knees and bring it to the opposite side while you put your other um, arm to the opposite side of your knee and kind of just you know push that knee down and you'll that'll feel great. You'll probably feel it in your glutes and your upper legs, your thighs. So this is one of my favorite stretches. And then again, when you're done, you want to switch to the opposite side and do the same thing for about 30 seconds. So we're almost done here. So the last stretch after this, we're going to be doing just typical, you know, trying to bend your knees as far back um, as possible. And Obviously, if you have a, a band or someone that can push the leg back for you, that'll be ideal. If not, you know, you can just you know, try to just raise it up straight and do it on your own. 
and it's you know important to try to keep that knee straight your your natural instincts you want to kind of bend the knee but just to keep in mind to keep that leg straight and trying to bend it back as much as possible you know take a deep breath in and out and it'll help you get you know push it just a little bit more uh, for your stretch and just relax and then you're gonna do it the opposite leg so it looks like I uh, my knee is a little bit bent, but you know it's uh, it's tough. Um, if, if you don't have a band or someone to support you, you can maybe put your hands on the knee to push it so it'll be straight. But you don't want to try to keep it straight as much as possible. So that is it. Just over ten minutes. Thank you guys for watching this video. So stretching is something that a lot of people overlook and they forget to do, but it's so important in order to make sure your muscles are in top shape so you can be out on the road or be participating in whatever sport that you're doing. So if you have any questions, feedback, or comments, please feel free to leave them down below and I'll see you guys on the next run.